Today we're going to be taking a look at the Barska Wireless Imager. Alright, so I just got this today and I haven't had time to use it yet, but um, I'll give you a quick tour of the box and whatnot for you to be able to see. I've seen absolutely nothing online about this product at all and <laughs> first impressions, it does not look like it's worth the hundred bucks that it is valued at uh, right off the bat it, it it from the box here it looks like it is all made out of plastic so hopefully you can get a good look at some of that stuff feel free to pause at any time of this video to get a look at um, the box here if you want to look at the box this here is the the box that it comes in I haven't taken it out of the box yet so there's the side view of it and um, here is a back view of it. Hopefully we can get that into focus. So feel free to pause if you want to read that. It's the box. Uh, I don't think I'm going to show the bottom just because of the serial number. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up real quick and we're going to see what it's, what it is, uh, all about. So bear with me here as I get this box open, feel free to become a subscriber of this YouTube channel or check out my channel and see if I have any videos out on using this product, uh, if you would like to see it. So first I'm going to show you the device itself. Um, I can already tell it's made out of plastic. It is all plastic. The uh, whole device is made out of plastic. Uh, here is here's the front view of it, which uh, the camera's gonna be able to get focus apparently. And get there we go. So there's where your power, um, your micro USB cable would plug into there to power it. And it's got the Barska uh, logo on there. Here it looks like is where the image is uh, projected into uh, the, the actual CCD on this or whatever imaging thing is on this. Um, and then we have a power on and off and also a reset and also a wireless indicator. Not too sure. I guess that's the power. I'm not actually I'm not too sure what the... Uh, what the one button is, but I'm sure the manual will tell me. But anyways, here's a close up of the other side. If I can get into focus, there we go. So you got a reset, you got a power on and off button. You got a Wi-Fi indicator telling you that I guess you're getting Wi-Fi to it, or there's a device connected to it. You got a battery indicator dependent showing, I guess, whether the battery is dying inside of it or whatever. So you might need to charge it whenever, um, you uh, see the battery light flashing red, I guess. I'm not too sure what the middle button is, but or the middle LED is, but I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, top wise, it doesn't look like does not look like the top comes off. Uh, not too sure if the it doesn't look like this thing comes off either. So it does not look like it comes apart what I can tell put that to the side and we'll see what else is in the box here uh, so here is the cable it's really a short cable you know this is a uh, a micro USB which looks I'm not too sure uh, which what type of micro USB this one is uh, I think it's just a normal some normal micro USB that you use for charging your cell phones with most of the Android phones use this plug here. It's a flat, it's a flat micro USB cable, which apparently isn't going to come into focus either. And then it's got your uh, standard uh, micro USB male A cable, which plugs into your charger. Where I don't even know where my charger is, but I guess you can plug this into your laptop or desktop computer and charge the uh, internal battery on the device. And uh, um, 
there's a little, small, little Allen wrench, which I almost didn't notice this. I almost fell on the floor. But apparently there is a small Allen key, which you guys can't see too well. But right there is a small Allen key. I'm not too sure what that is for. I would assume it has something to do with taking the device apart or resetting it or something along those lines. Um, put that to the side there. And we got a manual. Uh, so... <laughs> okay, so if we go, okay, so um, there's a a QRA code um, that you have to download, and I'm probably not going to show that on camera, but um, I'll try to fold this to the side real quick, but I will show you um, that... There is, this is basically the information that I was given right here on my manual. Uh, hopefully my focus will come in. So basically what you do is you go on your phone, go to the settings, search for Wi-Fi, and search for a micro imager, which will be linked as a Barsker uh, micro image, microscope imager. Oh, and that's basically the SSID name. And the password <laughs> is really... Um, not secure, but hopefully you can change that. I don't know if you can or not, but uh, that's not a secure password to use. Uh, and then on the other side of this page is is a um, a uh, QR code, which you would take on your phone and simply scan over it, and it will uh, download the software. Apparently, I looked on the app market and whatnot, and I didn't find anything. Here's a more tour of the actual manual itself so hopefully you guys can see that let me see if I can I can get it up here for you guys to be able to see so low battery indicator of what the LEDs are on and off button charging and the Wi-Fi indicator and a reset button as well as a one quarter inch um, astronomical adapter and I guess the adapter comes off to go into a microscope and then if we go over to this side you can see the warranty startup and all that stuff do not disassemble the product. Do not clean product with alcohol, generic, and whatnot. Do not touch your fingers on the lens. Avoid outdoor use. <laughs> so I guess it means you don't want to use this during the day. So anyways, that's pretty much it. For that part of the book. Um, and, then, uh, and then that takes me to my uh, QR code. Uh, this basically here is the specifications. If I can get that on there. There are the specifications of the product. Let me try to get into into the screen there. There you go. So there you go. Take the time to pause if you want. If you want to read that? Wi-Fi range is roughly about 50 feet. Uh, depending on blockage, you might actually. Uh, not have that range, probably about 10, 15 to 20 feet, maybe even large, maybe even farther. It just depends on on uh, a variety of factors uh, with the signal and all. I'm going to do some videos on um, using this product and give you my final thoughts in a um, future video. So. Feel free to, like I said, subscribe to this channel if you want to see me um, using this product. I've seen zero videos on using this um, imager, and uh, well, I figured I'd buy it. I figured I'd waste the hundred bucks and buy it, and you know, help you guys out in finding out whether it's worth it or not. From what it looks like, probably not worth it. I would assume you can only limit this to doing. Um, pictures of the moon maybe and maybe uh, the planets if you're lucky but uh, fortunately I won't get to use this tonight because I'm sure the battery on it is dead and it requires to be charged which is a three hour charge time so with that being said probably won't get to use it tonight so I will hopefully have it ready for tomorrow's event with the uh, lunar eclipse that's happening in the United States so I will look forward to that 
Anyways, again, this here is the box that it comes in. Let me just see if I can get it up here. Another look at the box. There you go. Another look for the box. There you go. I repeated myself a couple times, but there you go. There's the box. Okay, and one more look at the cable. So here's the cable that it that you use to charge charge it with. And then this here is the device. It's actually plastic. It's all plastic actually. Here you charge it through there and uh, turn the power on once it's on. And that's pretty much it it looks like. That's really basically all to it. Um, looks like this Allen key uh, goes into this hole right here. There's a hole right there that you take the Allen uh, wrench you stick it in there and I guess that loosens it off so that you can take this off and put it into a, uh, a telescope. I think this is already a one quarter inch. I'm pretty sure it's already a one quarter inch, but it looks like there's one hole holding this ring on. Um, and that would be how you put it into a microscope. But anyways, that is it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions for me, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer your questions to the best of my knowledge. Um, Feel free to subscribe if you like, uh, check out some of my videos if you want, and thank you for watching.